Hi everyone, this is chapter 14, Costs of Production. So before beginning with the four market structures, that is perfect competition, monopoly, oligopoly, and monopolistic competition, it's crucial to understand different types of cost. So remember, supply curve depicts how much firms are willing to supply with respect to price, but we know that more price means more supply and less price means less supply. That's because it's really straight. Business want to earn more money. They want more profit. But again, there is a limit to raise supply. Because no one sets supply and demand. It's set by the invisible hand. So, these cost curves, they might not be really exciting, but they're super crucial. Uh, someday you might own a business, so it's important you understand different types of cost and cost of production. Let's say if you are clear on these costs, you can easily figure out what is the optimum quantity of production. You can figure out your profit, also how much units have you produced. So let's go over to different types of cost. So every firm has two types of cost, fixed cost and variable cost. Fixed cost are those costs that do not change with quantity produced. For example, if you're talking about a bakery, so an oven can be an example of fixed cost. You produce one cake or you produce 10 cake, you still need that one oven. Even manager salary, you're producing one unit or you're producing 10 units, you have to pay manager his salary. Even rent is a good example of fixed cost. Regardless how much cakes you produce or you're not producing currently, you still have to pay rent of that base. So these are fixed costs. This, they do not change with quantity produced. Then you have variable cost. These costs vary with respect to the output produced. For example, if you're producing more cakes, so you might require definitely more raw materials like more milk, more sugar, more flour. Even you will utilize more electricity. So even you might require more labor. So if you produce more, these costs would increase. And if you produce less, variable cost can decrease as well. And then fixed cost plus variable cost equals total cost. This is very simple. And then you have marginal cost. Remember marginal means additional or extra. So it's additional cost of producing one extra unit of output. For example, if generally you produce 10 units of cake, so marginal cost would be the additional cost of producing 11th unit. So, or in other ways that how much it takes to produce one cake, that would be total cost. And then marginal cost can be how much your cost increases if you produce one extra unit of cake. So marginal cost is equal to change in total cost divided by change in output or the quantity you produce. As you're clear on how do we calculate fixed cost, variable cost, total cost, and marginal cost, it's also important to calculate per unit cost. So we have average variable cost, average fixed cost, and average total cost. We will be using these acronym that is AVC for average variable cost, AFC for average fixed cost, and ATC for average total cost. So get used to them. Anyway, so for AVC, it's simple variable cost divided by quantity. For average fixed cost, it's fixed cost divided by quantity. For average total cost, it's total cost divided by quantity. So we will discuss these, the shape of each curve and why do the shape in a particular manner in the next tutorial. But let's solve this numerical first. 
So this is a table. I have given you output, variable cost, fixed cost, and you have to calculate total cost and marginal cost. So in marginal cost, you notice there is a small triangle. So we call it delta. And in economics, delta refers to change. So remember the formula of marginal cost, it's change in total cost divided by change in quantity or output. Anyway, so I expect you to utilize this graph and fill in using the formulas. Until then, I will help you with the answer. So you have output 1, output 0, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have given you the variable cost. And I have given you fixed cost of zero output. As in when you're producing nothing, you still have to bear a fixed cost. This can be the rent you pay or the manager's salary or maybe the tool equipment you got. So what will be the fixed cost of, let's say, fourth output? It will be 10. What about fifth output? It will be 10. Fixed cost would be same at all units because it's fixed regardless you produce less more you still have to bear some cost and then how do you calculate total cost very simple you know the formula variable cost plus fixed cost equals total cost so when you're producing nothing your total cost would be 0 plus 10 which is 10 and when you produce one output, it's 10 plus 10, 20. And for when you're producing second output, it's 18 plus 10, that's 28. And that's how it goes. How do you calculate marginal cost? So marginal cost of producing zero output would be nothing. Because remember, in marginal cost, we are computing the change in total cost divided by change in output. But we can easily calculate the marginal cost of one unit. So when you move on from 0 to 1, your total cost was 10 at 0 output. Now when you're producing one output, your total cost is 20. So how do you compute change in total cost? It's 20 minus 10 you will get the change which is 10 divided by change in output so it's 1 minus 0 it's 1 so I haven't mentioned 1 down so it's okay if you ignore that too so that's 10 then what is the marginal cost of second unit of output you produce again it's simple you calculate change from the second output and the first output so it's 28 minus 20 that gives you 8 change is 8 and you divide that by change in output so 2 minus 1 it's 1 that's why I have again ignored 1 so I've written 8 only and that's how you calculate marginal cost for rest of the outputs so that's how you calculate Total cost, fixed cost, variable cost, marginal cost. But what about per unit cost as in calculating average total cost, average fixed cost, or average variable cost? So I have some questions for you to practice. What is average total cost of fourth unit? Average total cost of sixth units? Average fixed cost of three units? Average variable cost of four units? and average variable cost of two units it's very simple you just go back to the table you plug in the formula so i will solve the first one for you the question is average total cost of four units if you go back to the table so for fourth quantity if the total cost is 55 and the formula is total cost divided by quantity so total cost is 55 quantity is 4 which i have mentioned 4 units so 55 divided by 4 gives you 13.75 and that's how you calculate the rest of the questions